William Ruto to have the constitution amended, tearing down into key proposals, including creation of the office of the leader of opposition. LSK stated that the leader of the opposition slot conflicts with the country's system of separation of powers, terming its institutionalization impractical. <laughs> Few days after President William Ruto wrote constitution amendment proposals to the two speakers of the bicameral House of the Parliament, the Law Society of Kenya LSK came out with clear minds to oppose the move. That goes against the procedure and the process that has been set out in the constitution. While addressing the media at LSK offices in Nairobi County, the LSK President Eric Dewey accused President William Ruto of trying to amend the constitution unlawfully. So what we are calling on whoever who wishes to promote a constitutional amendment is to follow the law. Because you cannot use unconstitutional means to amend the constitution. While dismissing President Ruto's proposals, they restated that due to the nature of the proposal, the National Assembly does not have the rigid restrictions to carry it on. It should not even be discussed in Parliament because in itself it turns logic on its head in terms of the current composition of uh, uh, the Parliament as we know it. They already added that Ruto's proposals are contrary to the court instructions which led to nullification of constitutional amendments under the Building Bridges Initiative BBI. The amendments are being initiated by the President contrary to the decision in the BBI case and so therefore they should not see the light of day in Parliament as they are being a very clear precedent that has been set by the courts that proposed those proposed amendments should not be entertained by parliament the URI has now called on the senate and the national assembly to drop the proposals stating that they are ready to challenge the process in court should the parliament carry it on that should parliament uh, proceed to take up uh, this initiative then the law society shall be challenging whatever process they undertake in court. Last week, President William Ruto wrote to the Speaker of the National Assembly and that of the Senate, requesting them to push for a constitutional amendment to create an official office of the leader of opposition, to legalize various national funds in the constitution such as CDF fund, and to facilitate the participation of cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries in parliamentary proceedings. It is a proposal that the Azmio coalition led by their Supreme Raila Odinga has continued to disown. The Law Society of Kenya have stated that should the parliament agree to the recommendation of proposals to amend the constitution by the president, then they will be challenging the process before the court. Reporting for Luke Up TV from LSK offices in Nairobi, my name is Shadrach Kareria. With at least now at 